Alright, uh, here for the third match, and I have to mulligan this one lander, this beautiful one lander. And again, have to mulligan this other beautiful one lander into a no lander. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can do anything on four. At least we can learn what he's playing. I don't know, hit a land off this wayfinder, we might have uh, a chance. Undead Vizier is a pretty powerful card, especially when we have this lowly Seder Wayfinder to sacrifice. I think we just want to hit lands. So DC might be good, but we already have a bunch of spells, and if we're able to hit our land drops, we might have a chance on this Moldafor. We're on the draw as well. That's decent for us. Alright, cool. Hopefully we'll be able to hit our next two land drops. Alright, uh, we'll take Opulent Palace to fix our mana. Pluto Delta could potentially help, but the second green might be important for a Quartzer later down the line or something. <coughs> Alright, let's get our beat down on against this Windscarred Crag Jeskai deck. It's probably a uh, slower Jeskai deck if I had to guess. We're going to take the untapped land over the frontier bivouac, I think, in case we draw a four drop we want to... Well, I guess in case we draw four drop into five drop. <coughs> Get our beat down on with Seder Wayfinder. Can't ever beat uh, Mantis Rider. Luckily all of his lands come into play tap two. Scry to the top. That's bad news, bears. All right. Not sure what our opponent is going to cast next turn. I really hope it's not Dragon Lord Ojutai. <laughs> Although if he does play Ojutai, we do have a chance to play this Sadisi while he's tapped out. And uh, if he goes attack and play something else, we could potentially steal it with Dragon Lord Slumgar. That's an Ojutai. Cost five. Oh, maybe not. Secure the waste. Alright. Well, we don't have a Doomway Giant main deck. But we do have a Dragon Lord of Tarka. Not sure if that's what I want to go get. Well, that was a pretty good draw, if I do say so myself. Well, we are going to go ahead and get this into play while we can. Um... <coughs> I'm going to attack with just one Wayfinder to gain some life. I don't really want to trade off both my Wayfinders since I do have the Sadisi, but we don't mind whipping back <coughs> a Wayfinder to potentially fill up our graveyard. Now if he plays just guy Ascendancy, not really sure what we're going to be able to do. <laughs> Alright, well our opponent really likes his coming to play tap lands, so that's for sure. I haven't seen too many Jeskai token based decks that had uh, a bunch of the gain life lands. Citadel Siege, oh boy. Alright, well he's going to put some counters on his Secure the Waste tokens and probably get his beat down on. And we're just going to take it for now. I think we are just going to uh, attack for one and then play this Undead Vizier and that'll shut down his offense for a little bit. Tutor up, I don't know, maybe a Frontier Bivouac actually so we can get our land drop for Dragon Lord Salamgar and also uh, if we draw a Tarka we can actually cast that, so. Yes, I would like to search. Um, <coughs> at the moment, I think that's probably our best bet is just getting a land. So, we'll get the best one for the current situation. Not doing so bad on this mold of four, but our opponent's draw was very, very slow. So that's good for us. Citadel Siege could be a pain. Just turns all of his 
threats into much bigger threats. And prognostic things. <laughs> well, that's a medium tilt. I guess we gotta try to run them out of spells. If we're able to, or we gotta try to run them out of cards in hand. If we're able to do that. Okay, well, we're definitely just gonna block this. Uh, he's probably gonna play burn spell and kill it, but we wanna get all the cards out of his hand so we can threaten to kill the prognostic sphinx. Well, he did not kill it. That was kind of a strange attack. Maybe he thought CDC was a 4-5, but she is not. She is gigantic. Alright, well we're gonna just go coarser into downfall, I believe. Get that land drop on. Uh, I guess we could potentially whip back. I kinda wanna draw the CDC, so I don't really want to whip back. Um, the Seder Wayfinder at the moment. <coughs> All right, well, luckily we're getting out of burn range, which is nice. Kind of hoping he just keeps playing all of his lands. But it's likely he's just going to sit with a ton of cards in hand. But we can potentially race his Prognostic Sphinx and. Hexproof doesn't do anything against Death Touch, so that's great. Another Prognostic Sphinx? Oh boy. Narset Transcendent. Well, I found a downfall target. Alright, well, we're going to try to kill this in response to the tick up in case he draws a counter spell. We have another downfall, but <coughs> I'd rather just get that out of the way now. Alright, what do you reveal? A Banishing Light. Ew. Well, that's pretty good. Well, we might end up losing this one. He's probably going to take the whip. We can maybe pressure his life total with the Sidisi still. We can keep it tapped down at least, which is good. And we're not too close to dying, but he is going to scry a ton. I may just play Dragon Lord Slumgar next turn, steal the warrior so we get to slam him for six. Uh, he kept one card on top though, so we do have to be careful of that. But Slumgar having a. Do I even have another? Yeah, I think I still have an island in my deck, so we're not out of <coughs> things to hit yet. I'm just going to play CDC for now. We don't mind him chum blocking for a turn. Another whip on top. That's pretty great. He may not block anyway. He may want to spread his counters around a little bit with the Citadel Siege. <coughs> Don't think we want to use a downfall just to make him discard a card and tap his uh, prognostic sphinx yet, since we are at a pretty high life total. His is dwindling slowly. I think we may want to bait his. Uh... We have eight mana, so next turn we can play whip and still be able to downfall which is nice. If we draw a land we can potentially downfall in Salumgar. Alright, yeah well, we don't mind taking seven if he wants to attack. <coughs> he may end up just like casting in hostilities or something here anyway. Which would be a little gross. Let's 
see what we draw, I guess. Or not what we draw, what we hit. Alright, well, get to make another zombie. I'm not going to play the whip into a potential counterspell this turn. Uh, next turn, we can actually... <coughs> uh, Curious what this is. Uh, dig through time. All right. Well, now I feel silly for not casting that whip. <coughs> we have to hit him for eleven here. I'm gonna go ahead and play the whip while he's tapped out though. Hopefully he doesn't have another banishing light or some such. I don't really mind drawing that thought seize either. I guess I could tutor right now. Just whip back a <coughs> undead vizier. I'm trying to think of something I would actually want in this particular situation. I guess we could just look at the deck list. Just to double check and make sure we're not missing anything. Torrent Elemental, we can't get that online just yet. Um, Tarka doesn't do much against his Hexproof guy except for tap it, and we already have two ways to force him to do that, really. Uh, yeah, so... Alrighty, um, go. Could potentially get burned out here. I'm gonna upkeep downfall his prognostic sphinx just in case. <coughs> if he has counter spell into something like Crater's Claws or something, I actually don't have any idea really what's in this deck. Discarded addictor time. All right, let's see what happens. Secure the waste would be pretty good. I guess to chump block my whole team, but uh, I do get to gain a lot of life, and he has a another way to to deal with it. Well, I guess in hostilities was we'll draw stuff, <coughs> but now we just get to. Thought sees him, take his best card, and then whip back to DCs until he's dead. Hey, Narset, get out of here. Alright, well, he's at five. Uh, he has a lightning strike, so no reason to get back Brood Tyrant, because he'll just kill it. Uh, we can just get back um, Undead Vizier. Don't sacrifice anything. Attack four, gain four, and hopefully he doesn't draw way to deal with whip. All right, well let's get back courser and attack. Land gain alive. All right. Well, he gets to scry twice, but he has to use both spells to kill the courser, and then went bottom bottom. So he has a random draw off the top to try to find. I guess like a second copy of Banishing Light or something. Alright, well, I'm just going to play the Dragon Lord Salumgar, even though I'm not stealing anything. And, uh, <coughs> have a guy big enough to threaten lethal next turn, even if he has a way to deal with whips. So now he has to basically be able to deal with both. 
can't think of too much other than a second, or I guess a, his third copy of Dig Through Time since he discarded one of them. Alright, game two. <clears throat> Again, Torn Elemental. Not sure if it's actually good. It might be okay since he has... Uh, maybe he's got a couple different token generators. It's also a flyer that can block Prognostic Sphinx and some other stuff. So, not too sure. I think I definitely want this other Thoughtseize. Probably want these Disdainful Strokes. I'm kind of torn between Merciless Executioner just because he could potentially make a bunch of tokens and then I wouldn't make him sacrifice his Prognostic Sphinx. I feel like the game's going to go pretty long. I think I'm just going to board like I would board against a normal control deck. Just get rid of the murderous cuts and the... Uh, <coughs> still inherited so we don't get swept under the rug just have a bunch of high impact cards and wayfinder to fill up our graveyard as well as uh, hit our land drops never want to cut carriage and wayfinder but there are some matchups where you can cut one or the other although cutting wayfinder is pretty rare card is generally good against most strategies Alright, well this hand's not bad. We can hit our land drops and our opponent's deck is fairly slow, it looked like, so um, Disdainful Stroke will probably be pretty good on turn 3, hopefully, followed by a turn 4 Sidisi. I'm assuming with a bunch of, that's the uh, third different kind of uh, coming to play tap, gain life land. But I'm assuming if he has a bunch of those, uh, his deck is glacially slow. Basically just a blue-eyed control deck that's splashing red for some removal. Well, we missed our land drop so far. We missed drawing a fourth land so far, so the odds of drawing an untapped land to cast Sidisi Brutaren are not very high. But we do have a counter spell for a Narset or something if he has that land. Well, I'm going to cast this Wayfinder because otherwise I'm going to have to discard and I'm just going to try to hope to hit an untapped land. Otherwise, we might get wrecked by a uh, <coughs> Prognostic Sphinx, but we could just get this countered, which looks like it's what he's doing. Maybe he's trying to hit a land drop now to cast uh, Prognostic Sphinx or something. Or he's just got a bunch of lands in hand and he's digging for some proactive spell to cast this turn. It's a little dangerous for me to cast the Wayfinder there, but I don't think I'm going to be able to win the game by just sitting on my heels. And the odds of someone dissolving a Wayfinder are pretty low for the most part. Well, I guess we'll start discarding our 7 drops. Weird game. <coughs> Keeping a three lander and not drawing another land is pretty gross, but I mean, it obviously can happen. Well, basically countering anything at this point so we can use our mana efficiently. Hopefully, we draw a land now. We still have we have a downfall now for Narset, so that's not that big of a deal. But Citadel Siege can get out of control, <coughs> especially on a hexproof creature. Another Atarka. Card has not been very impressive. Does not seem like it is worth it to splash for. Too slow against red decks. Really bad against control decks. Hmm. I think the curve on this deck is just a little too high. You have to have a little more cheap spot removal or interaction or something. But this dig through time is likely going to be our undoing. We just have missed way too many land drops and fallen way too far behind. <coughs> Having to go to discard twice is also uh, pretty gross. 
I really hope I don't go four with a stack. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> well, we still got one more game after this, even if we lose. See you, Torn Elemental. It's possible I should have discarded the other Atarka, but I don't mind Torn Ele Elemental being in the graveyard. We can draw Tasker or something, exile it, and then just put it back into play. Well, I, uh, I'm i like 99%. This card is not resolving, but we have no other plays, so we're going to cast it. <coughs> yep. I'm fairly thankful that his draw is so reactive, because that is allowing us to at least have a chance to draw out of our mana screw. Alright, come to play tap land, par for the course. Yo, main phase magma jet, eh? Man's probably just sitting on a slew of burn spells. Just waiting for me to cast anything <laughs> that dies to it. And I don't really want to run my whip into another counter spell. Uh, but my Sidisi, since I have the backup Sidisi, I'll just go ahead and cast that. And it's likely going to die to a lightning strike before uh, the ability resolves. <coughs> But we get to put some more stuff in our graveyard to uh, potentially whip back. But milled over a couple thought seizes. Wouldn't mind drawing those. Here comes another dig through time. Or maybe a steam augury. Who knows? <laughs> all right, all right. Well, we have the same number of cards in hand. Uh, maybe that means something. After he draws, of course. He's at such a high life total. So many gain life lands. Can't win. <coughs> well, can't win for a multitude of reasons. That just being one of them. Well, I thought he was casting Dragonlord Ojutai, but Ugin, that's actually not even a big deal. Thankfully, we have this hero's downfall, and he's tapped out. If he has a Haven of the Spear Dragon or something, then that could be pretty bad. But we just have to kill that now before he gets untapped with a potential counter spell. Um, and luckily, we are drawing some lands, so we can maybe get out of this. He's only got five cards in hand, he's already used two two dissolves. <coughs> Fortunately, Narset comes in with far too much loyalty for a Tarka to kill, and we don't even have red mana. Narset enlightened jerk. Well, my bees don't really deal with that, so I don't exactly know what to do here. Hmm. Guess I could just cast Hornet Queen, but it's probably gonna get dissolved. But then if we draw a land that comes up on tab, we can whip back Hornet Queen. I just don't want him to get a ton of activations off of this. Uh, but I also want to potentially tutor with uh undead Sidisi. So we will cast the Hornet Queen and I suppose just chump block. Could potentially just block with all of them and hope that some of them survive the attack and uh, eat the Narset, but well that's refreshing. So if he has two removal spells he gets to first strike my Hornets to death if I block with everything. So 
So we will see what he gets off of his Narset. Alright, so... I hope it's the last four, so in hostilities anticipate... Lightning Strike. Maybe he's just gonna burn me out. He cast the Lightning Strike <coughs> almost immediately. So he has in hostilities. So yeah, I guess we'll just block with everything. Not really sure what he's doing. Oh, he's just trying to burn me out. He's got a ton of cards in hand. And he's gonna... Oh, he's gonna cast in hostilities, I think, so... But we're still gonna block his guy with everything and... Kill it. <coughs> he could have kept his Narset alive. So it's five cards in hand, we're at eight. Uh, so, Corsair into Sadisi? Maybe? I think that's reasonable. Hmm. Even though we have a creature on top for the Sadisi, I think I want to, uh, Ooh, that's a better creature. I was trying to hit another land off of <coughs> the fetch, and I didn't really want to take a pain lane damage from the Yavmaya Coast. Alright, well, things are looking up. Might actually win on this g win this game where I thought I was about a 1%er. But our opponent's deck is kind of wonky and really reactive and as they used to say screw beats flood if the game goes long enough it's all they got's lands and all you got spells yep felt that coming on we can uh, get back a lot of stuff with both the whip and the soul of Innistrad though alright well So they choose Khan, so he gets to loot every turn. Kind of like a little mini Thassa. Alright, well, <coughs> I'm just going to play this whip and whip back Sadisi, I guess. Maybe make some zombies. Could whip back Hornet Queen. But uh, we're going to whip back the Sadisi instead. Keep the tempo going. Keeping a guy in play is always great. But we miss on the first mill. Let's see if we hit on the second. We do not. Man, Sidisi has just not been kind to me today. We are at 12. We can... If we draw a land, we can whip back something and cast Sidisi. Uh, we could also... Uh, oh, Banishing Light. That stinks. Well, we're still at 12. And we still have... Uh, What's his face in the yard? Torn Elemental. We can exile it with uh, Tassiger and then put it into play. Another Narset. Ew. <coughs> Did not realize how difficult it would be to actually cast the Atarka without selling Keratid, which makes sense, obviously, but... Alright, what do I want to remove? I think just Torn Elemental and Lands. I don't plan on using his ability anytime soon. But now we can play the Torn Elemental from Exile. And hold up Disdainful Stroke. <coughs> now hopefully he just misses on his Narset. 
can't kill it quite yet. Might be able to deck him. You never know. I'm gonna move our graveyard over here so we can see it a little better. Look like another in hostilities to me. Guess we could have countered it. Kind of want to just counter a threat though. I do not. Alright, so I do have. Nope, I have no Heroes Downfalls left, I don't think. No, I have one. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing. <coughs> yeah, we're going to counter that guy instead. So we can tutor for. Now that he's used the Narset, he missed with it, which is great for us. We can tutor for the downfall, but we have to sacrifice the Sidisi to itself. <coughs> yeah, I'm in this for the long game. We have the Soul of Innistrad to get stuff back. So we're just going to play Sidisi, sack her to herself, go get the other downfall, and kill that Narset before it's able to ultimate. I guess after <coughs> this game, if we end up losing, we should probably bring in the Reclamation Sage, now that I think about it. Slip my mind from the previous game. Uh, we are currently down a Mana Confluence for the Atarka, and but we still have two Frontier Bivouacs, so we can potentially hit off the Wayfinder. <coughs> and he's only got one card in hand. Gets to loot away all his extra lands, though. So, Doomwake Giant, we'll save that one for a rainy day. Uh, this turn, though, we can activate Soul of Innistrad for 5 mana, and then cast Corsair. I think we'll do that. Uh, we'll get back <coughs> Hornet Queen, since that's good against his uh, Prognostic Sphinx. I guess uh, Tassiger, so we can exile the Torn Elemental and uh, maybe a Corsair, maybe a Sidisi. Probably Sidisi. Corsair is whatever. I can cast it this turn, though. This is, that's the only thing I'm thinking about. So maybe it's we just leave the CDC. Our hand's pretty stacked. I think we'll go with Corsair, Hornet Queen, and CDC, and just leave the Tassiger. Cast the Corsair. Try to find our Frontier Bivouac. We don't really need it right this moment, though. Alright, well we don't have any more fetchable lands to get, but we can shuffle away the top card if we want, so just gotta keep that in mind. Now he's only got 22 cards left in his deck. Yep. Knew that was coming. So I think I'm okay drawing the forest. I want to save uh, cracking the polluted delta for a, a much rainier day, if you will. Uh, let's go ahead and jam this Hornet Queen, I guess. kind of want to draw the Tassiger, so we're going to leave that on top. Not cast the Wayfinder. Bees! Bees! Next turn we can place a DC, sacrifice something, go get whip, play it and attack. Discarded a banishing light, that's strong.
don't have many ways to force his hand with the prognostic sphinx anymore. If we hit an untapped land, we can play Wayfinder into Sedisi into Whip. Anger of the Gods. Okay. Second Sphinx. Oof. Alright, well... Again, we don't have a land to get. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can't even really get this, or cast this Atarka this turn. Let's see what's on top. Even if we hit the Boovwack, it comes into play tapped. Narset might deck him. That would be pretty awesome, actually. Um, could potentially Sedisi for Corsair, and then the turn after that go Doomwake Giant Corsair, and then I'll kill his Narset. I'm just gonna. All right. Well, we'll start with. I really wish I could sh make the Seder Wayfinder optional. Alright, well we hit a bivouac and we hit a bunch of cards that we don't want to draw, so that's good. Um, we'll place a DC sacrificing the Seder Wayfinder. Cannot wait to accidentally misclick one time with that card. So we can get. Dragon Lord Slumgar doesn't do a whole lot. It'll just force him to tap his thing for one turn. So we'll just get Whip of Erebos. Can't cast it, so we will just cast Tasker. Make sure we exile the Torn Elemental. And then a couple lands. Get life. No attacks. Well, he's got no cards in hand, but he gets to loot and uh, <coughs> activate the Narset. We have a lot of blockers to prevent it from getting too much value, though. What is this? Seven mana. Eight mana. Oh, no. Not another Ugin. So we can take it down for five? and exile my board, or six and exile the whole board. Okay, well, I guess we'll just block. Uh, we'll actually get back the whip with our when he kills the Banishing Light. Uh, he might actually just kill us with burn spells though, but all right, well he hit in hostilities off of his Narset, so we'll just block. He'll probably tick up Or I'll probably cast in hostilities and then tick up the Ugin. Uh, we can Atarko it for five down to four, and then it can't kill the Atarka. Uh, we could also just play Atarka, whip it, and attack and kill the Ugin, since he has no cards in hand. I assume he's just going to cast the in hostilities from the Narset, though. Seems likely. No reason to tick down Ugin when you could do that. Alright, I stand corrected. Alright, well, we got this Tormentalman on the graveyard just chilling. This has been a sweet game. Alright, well, we are gonna kill his uh, Ugin and deal him a lot of damage. Actually, no, I'm going to kill his Prognostic Sphinx. That's way better. Gain a million life. Kill Ugin, hit him for four. Sounds good to me. It's a good turn. Got a way out. 
against uh, Secure the Wastes. Both Doomwake Giant and Torn Elemental can keep that in check. We're at a million life. A Banishing Lighter or some such could take out the whip, but then he still has to deal with what I have in play and in hand. But a little too much for him to overcome. It was a strange match. But Alright, well, that was the third match. Uh, we'll be back for the fourth shortly.